What if I told you I found some of the best tech gadgets in 3D printing and they're all under $50? Boy, I am super excited about this video. So I'm somewhat of a self-proclaimed techie and I've brought you five great gadgets that you need for every day and 3D printing. And did I mention they're all under 50 bucks? Plus, stay tuned to the end because I have a bonus item that every 3D printing enthusiast needs in their arsenal. So let's go ahead and get to our first item, which is a 3D printing pin. So before I even started 3D printing, I saw these 3D printing pins and I had no idea what they were about. But now that I'm more into the hobby, I want to go ahead and check them out. So this comes in at, as of filming, $39.99, which is very affordable. Pretty much anybody can pick it up. We have, of course, a user manual. I don't need that, just kidding. The actual pin, which is super small and sleek. Look at this thing. So I saw in a lot of the reviews that they've been getting used ones. For the first thing I wanted to look at is to see if it was used. And I don't think it has been used. All right, so I read the instructions. Right here on the front side, there is a temperature control gauge and it shows you what position you need to do for each temperature, PLA versus ABS. Um, in the front, you have a stepless speed control. I'm pretty sure this just extrudes the filament at its automatic speed. And then right here, you have, you double tap it to extrude some more out and then you push the back button to withdraw. It seems pretty easy. So let's plug this in and let's see if we can get it started. So after using the pin for a little bit, I really, really like it, and I like it more than I thought I was gonna like it. One of the applications that I was thinking that you can use this for was actually holding parts together. So what I did was I took two parts, and I applied some, the 3D pin to it, and it is holding. Like, I am using a lot of force to try to pull these two parts apart, and I am having a hard time doing that. This is well worth the buy. I will pay a lot more money than I paid for one of these 3D pens. Okay, so the next item I have on the list is a soldering vent. So when you solder stuff, it lets off a little small little bit of gas and that can be very toxic for you. So instead of making a whole big old ventilation system to which I actually do have, you can just go ahead and buy one of these soldering stations. Now this is gonna come in at brand new $39.99. And don't, don't worry, I'm going to leave a link to all of these items down in the description. So inside you get your, basically it's a big fan with a vent in the front of it. Along with the instructions, you're going to get two more extra, nope, this is one. You're going to get one more extra vent ventilation filter and that is it in the box. So let me go ahead and set up my soldering station and let's see if this thing will suck some air. <laughs> so real quick, this is made by Kodo and the construction is a steel design. Well, aluminum. It's already plugged in. Let's see how loud this is. It is not the quietest fan. I know you can hear that real well. Let's turn it off. Now I have some solder and some stripped wires. We're gonna go ahead and get these tinned up and see how well this fan sucks it out. It did a very good job of sucking out the smoke and getting rid of everything so it didn't come in my face. So does it do its job? It really does. And I recommend you guys get one as well. So the third item on our list is not so much tech, but something that you really need. And this is a 3D printing kit. Now it comes with a list of items that you need in everyday 3D printing stuff. I'm gonna go through them real quick. List price of this kit is $35.99 as of, as of filming but it is listed for $49.99. So first thing I'm gonna pull out is a cutting mat. This right here is a deburring tool. If you have a 3D printing pen and you don't have one of these, these are our flush cutters, you are already messing up. This is a pipe cutter, not gonna lie. I haven't needed a pipe cutter ever, but if you do need one, guess what, it comes in the kit. So in here you have a digital calipers. 
This is really nice, check this out. This is an X-Acto knife kit and it's actually comes in a nice case and it's steel. And finally, you probably need something to put all that stuff into. So here you got a nice little carrying case to put all your little doodads in there. $35 for all of this stuff is totally worth it. Item number four is going to be a cordless rotary tool. Now I have a wired rotary tool. It can be very expensive and inconvenient for having the wire. It is nice to have a cordless one. That way you can just reach over there, grab it, come back and do your whatever you need a rotary tool for. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what we got. First things first, you get a case. That's crazy because at this price point, which is $24.95, that's crazy. It is five speeds. So if the number one is too small, you can change it up to number five. It was real important to me when I was looking for a rotary tool to have one that has variable speeds. The one that I have now is variable speed, but it has two speeds, slow and fast. This one has five, so it'll give you a lot more control. It also has an LED light on the front. Just a disclaimer, when dealing with this kind of stuff, make sure you got your PPE, wear your gloves, your mask, and your respirator, especially when dealing with cutting plastics. You're gonna get those microplastics and you're gonna inhale them. So I tested it out at two speeds. The first time I tested it out was at the second notch, and that's when I cut it in half. When dealing with that, it's gonna bog down because it's not the most powerful motor. Remember, you're only paying $25 for this thing. But for 3D printing, it works the way it's intended to work. I wanna put a sanding disc on there next. So same thing goes with before, which is it's powerful enough to do the job, but don't expect anything more like getting a Dremel or something that you plug in because you gotta remember it's battery powered and it's not that expensive. The attachments don't seem to be the best attachments. I will probably try to go get some Dremel attachments because those are a lot better than these ones. But the rotary tool itself is great. Now that I made this mess, that brings us right into our next tool. Portable vacuum slash blower. So let's go ahead and open this thing. And yes, I know I still have a mess. We're gonna get to that in a second. This comes, this is a lot of stuff. And this comes in a low, low price of, as of filming this video, $31. So right now I have on no attachment. As you can see, it sucked up all the stuff that was laying on my table and anything else we can just blow off, right? So to use the blower function, you just put this little doohickey on the back side of it. And then you just push the button. I'm not gonna lie, the blower is kind of a letdown. It's not very that. It's strong enough to blow stuff off the table or blow dust off of things, but don't go crazy with it. It's not gonna be anything that's too crazy. Vacuum function works. The blower, not so much. For $34, you get what you pay for, and I think it's worth the price. So that's my five items. What do you think of my list? Would you add anything to the list? And should I make a part two? Leave it down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. If you liked this video and it helped you out in some way, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you can catch my next upload. Now, for what I promised you, the bonus item that you must have in your arsenal. And that is a filament dryer. If you 3D print and you live in an area where it is a humid climate or you cannot control the temperature in your room, then you're probably gonna wanna get a filament dryer. It is essential for anybody who 3D print. The reason why I didn't put this on my list to begin with is because the regular price for this is $69.99, but Fix Dry is having a huge sale right now and you can pick this up for $43.99. If you do miss that sale, you can use a code JG10 at checkout and save 10% off. That's also gonna lower the price as well. Now, if you wanna see the video where I do a deep dive breakdown on this video, you can click on that video right here. Everybody have a great rest of your day. God bless y'all. Peace out. Drinking a 12